Yes, sir. What's good with you guys, man? It's your boy Blasted. Um, I'm just gonna check out this video. I was gonna watch it myself, but I might as well react to it live. So I appreciate every last one of you guys. I'm just chilling, man. You know. So I'm just chilling. Just gonna react to this video. Really interested in it. I was gonna watch it, but I might as well watch this shit live. Ain't no none of this shit. These niggas that say they GDs be doing killing each other. That ain't growth or development. That ain't that ain't the, that ain't the struggle. The odd struggle for educational, economical, political, and social development. That's the struggle. You feel me? The the, the brothers that create the vice lords, they wasn't for killing each other. Vice lords really meant to become the lord of your vices, of your weaknesses, the master self, self mastery. You know, I always speak about the lag kings, the you know, the the, the god that created the king. Yo, what's good with you? I don't even know if that was like a real message to me or not. I was kind of confused right there. Kings, he wasn't with killing each other. They Latin kings and Latin queens. They understood it. The power that came with that carbon when they when they was calling themselves. Like, yeah, if you guys have any like comments on this, just comment below. It's gonna show up on the screen. I was gonna make this a reaction video, but I'm just chilling, so I'm just gonna react to it, or not even react to it, just watch it live. Latinos, you know, the Latinos and the black race, we won. We the original gods. It's our land. Before it was gangs, we was we was they called us Navajo and Cherokee and Choctaw and. Mississippian tribes and the Illinois Confederacy and we've been tribal. Why do you think? Once again, with Larry Hoover. You know me and me and brother Rod Hayes was just talking about this on Clubhouse. Like, you know, his he has direct roots to the Mississippians, man. One of the most powerful tribes on the land right now. That come off this land. You feel me? He got direct lineage. Larry Hoover. You know, that's why they don't want to free him. That man in, in jail and all type of murders and drug conspiracies got put on him that he ain't had nothing to do with. Feel me? They infiltrated that. They did the same thing with Jeff Ford. Black Peace Stones in Chicago, man. They was running neck and neck with the Black Panthers. Jeff Ford and Fred Hampton was on that with the, with the police in Chicago. You feel me? They tried to put the Black Panthers and the Black Peace Stones against each other. You feel me? I'm giving y'all real, real history for the Smoothies just joining the live. Don't know nothing about me. Just think I'm some goofy. You run my name through the streets of Chicago and you see what record come back to you, man. I ain't got to be out there no more because what I'm going to stand out there in the streets for and, and continue to participate in trying to hurt, hurt my own people, man. Hurt my own tribe. Now, nah, my war with the police, my war with 12. I'm going to fuck the CIA energy. Fuck the FBI. That's what I want. That's what I want to kill. That's real gangster shit. That's real gang gang. Not none of that lame shit these rappers be saying in songs and then niggas killing each other, man. And then niggas posting bond money for each other. Right? Because what happens is what you got right now with like the Young Dolph situation. Like, you got the internet finna already take this situation because there's no real divine insight being put to it. Right? Our community has been turned against each other because we are the kings and queens of this land. We are the original Asiatic beings. Right? So it's easier for the people in power to keep control of us long as we killing each other. And when one of us die from any sort of violence, you got smoothies that run to the internet, these bloggers, and they want to add fuel to the fire, right? You see the footage rolling out of Young Dog killed. You see motherfuckers on the scene. Niggas ain't care. You heard of the niggas' voice. Niggas was happy. Oh, man, they got him, y'all. Come on, man. I know when I'm up. I ain't hear nobody crying out there. I ain't hear no, no pain and nobody soul that was on the scene. I'm not saying there wasn't nobody out there on the scene that didn't feel it. But I'm saying from the videos that surfacing that we all seeing, man. That was pure happiness for motherfuckers because all they saw was, oh, this nigga thought he made it out. Mm, now he gone. He ain't making nowhere. You know, like they say, the crab in the butt, the crab in the basket effect. And right away. That's going to trickle down to the streets. See, you got to understand, like, for some of y'all, it's the internet. But for the real ones, the real awoken ones, and the ones that's really in the streets, this ain't the internet. You see what I'm saying? Motherfuckers be reading every comment y'all posting. When you bragging about somebody getting killed and saying this person did it, that person did it, niggas, that, that's really. Related to the person that got killed, family members is reading them comments, lurking. 
They lurking IG pages. They lurking. They ain't playing. And motherfuckers sitting back laughing. Y'all be safe in Memphis and this and that. I don't feel like that. You see what I'm saying? Why is everybody getting a, a laughter out of what just took place in Memphis and the fact that it can trickle into more? Then something happened to Yo Gotti. He ended up dead. Then motherfuckers would be on the internet or Soldier Boy or Black Youngster. Then motherfuckers gonna get back on the internet and gonna roll out the videos. Saying I if you go back and watch that video of the people recording, like they did not feel, they didn't seem like they had any sympathy at all. Like it's crazy. Oh, that's fucked up. And, and now motherfuckers crying. And then now it's more motherfuckers under that post if something happened to Gotti, Soldier Boy, Youngster. And now niggas is laughing about that and, and gonna keep it going. And all this shit is doing is distracting us completely from what the fuck we need to be focused on. The real opposition. And I'm gonna prove to you, I'm gonna talk to you right now about how Young Dolph, this was a blood sacrifice, man. Yo Gotti did not just kill Young Dolph. All right? And by me going and breaking this news now, I hope they don't take my YouTube channel. Because they watching me. You know the other... Yo, my bad. But yeah, I've been shadow banned myself plenty of times, bro. Plenty of times. I had a Megan Thee Stallion video. It did like 100,000 views, right? It was about Rashad Jamal. And they took it down, bro. And ever since that, my channel got a big hit. But it's starting to do lightweight decent again. Elites, right? They not elite shit. But we call them the elites because these are these rich, white, racist motherfuckers that run everything and that set up the laws. You know, they just killed Young Dog. And a lot of people don't understand why. But we're going to talk about why they why they killed him. All right? And he was leaving many, plenty clues like most of them do. When they know that the people on their ass. The biggest stance an artist can take, right? When you in the industry is to be independent. Now, because Soldier Boy and, 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 and um Dolph had a couple words and Soldier Boy was coming at him saying he wasn't independent. I mean, yeah, technically young Dolph wasn't independent because he was signed to Empire Records. But he didn't have a mostly there we go. I've been around the industry a long time, so I understand how it works. Feel me? I got like brothers and people that's really in this shit in the industry. A lot of people don't even understand how contracts work. So they took Soldier Boy literally, literally. And I, I fuck with Soldier Boy. I fuck with Flo Malcolm. Flo Malcolm, that's my brother. That's my little brother. He signed to Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy. And anybody know me know me and Flo Malcolm. That's my little brother, right? So listen, right? I'm literally. Connected to all three parties except for black youngster. You feel me? I know people that fuck with Dolph on them side. I got close ties to people that fuck with your Gotti in them. And I got Yo, this nigga just this guy just said, I grilled horse meat in memory of Dolph straight up. What does that mean? What, what do you mean by that, bro? Close ties to motherfuckers that's actually fucking with Soldier Boy and signed to him. So I don't want to see nothing happen to none, none, none of three of them gods or they families or they or they kids or they friends, especially when I know that ain't nobody pulled the trigger but the but but the but the big dog to top. People that follow this platform, y'all see me taking the stands against the system, right? But sometimes you can underlook the other individuals that's taking the stance in their own way. See, we all take a stance in our own different way, like Prince, for example. When Prince was trying to take his stance, he didn't do what Rashad Jamal did because Prince is an artist. Rashad Jamal is a revolutionary slash intellect that just so happened to, to put his lectures over beats. I'm not a rapper. I'll never proclaim to be that. I'm not a rapper. I'm an intellect slash revolutionary. I'm a gangster. That's what I am. I'm a god. That's what I am. This waking his people up and preparing us to rebel against the system. Feel me? And if I got to leave here to do that, I'm with that too, because then I, I left my energetic imprint on the planet, my intention. You see, it wouldn't be a lost cause. It wouldn't be a lost cause, because it was for a higher purpose. But Young Dolph, like Prince, they took their stand being independent. Young Dolph had a... Yeah, thank you. Uh, 
I used to have a background like this back in the day. Or not even back in the day. Probably a few months ago, but I stopped using it. Distribution deal with Empire. He wasn't signed to no record label. So Soldier Boy was right when he said, hey, Young Dolph got more help. Because Soldier Boy ain't got no help. He ain't got no distribution, none of that. So his argument was right. But in that argument, it'll confuse y'all not understanding that even though Soldier Boy is right, he has no help. So big kudos to Soldier Boy, what he do, right? But Dolph had a little help because he had a distribution deal, but he still was assigned to a major record company. That's two different things, all right? That's distribution, all right? Now, you got to understand, even though he had a distribution deal, the major label's been trying to get Young Dolph to sign with them since he came out. And I think a lot of people seem to forget that. I think a lot of people think we just talking when we telling you how this industry work, man. Right? I think a lot of people seem to forget the true reason they killed Prince. Because he owned his masters. Alright? That's why Prince was killed. When Prince was writing on his cheek, slave, and he changed his name to the artist formerly known as, that was all in defiance against the major labels. That's why Prince was killed. That's why Michael Jackson was killed. Because he was going to go on a world tour. Yeah, I was just about to say that shit. Same reason why Michael Jackson got killed. <clears throat> Same reason why they did uh, Bill Cosby way, the way they did him. He was about to buy NBC. They do that shit to like, all the powerful black people. Bro. Or talking about they don't really care about him. Right? Singing all his classic songs that was always against them. Michael Jackson was always against them. Right? The, the Villa Lago shit was lies. They injected him with it. Nah, I'm not saying it's a conspiracy. You don't got to believe it if you don't. It's all good. Believe what you want to believe. I'm not trying to force this upon you. You know what I mean? It's okay if you don't believe it. Disease. And then they, then they slaughtered his image. They tried to kill Michael Jackson in 1984 when they set his fucking hair on fire at the fucking Pepsi commercial. People forget that. That was an assassination attempt. It didn't work. So what they did, they killed his image. Michael Jackson spent the rest of his life being looked at as somebody that's trying to be white because they hit, they injected him with the disease and that he was this pedophile slash rapist. That's how we looked at Mike all the way till he left this motherfucker. Destroyed his whole legacy. It wasn't until he left that people remember, like, oh, that's Mike and what he did. And then went back and listened to what he was thinking about. And what he was trying to say. And why they attacked him like that. Because we wasn't as woke as we are today. Stay with me. If you came in here to hear me um, add fire to the young dog, fake Yo Gotti beef, and soldier, I, didn't, I don't do that. So you go ahead, you might as well exit now and go to one of them bitch ass bloggers that ain't no real. So I'm really from the streets. And I'm going to tell you right away, that ain't the route to go. I really did face life in jail. Had to, I'm here right now because I went to jury trial and they said not guilty. I ain't cop out like 99% of street niggas do. I've been a fighter, nigga. Niggas that be street niggas cop out. I fought all the way through. That's why I'm sitting here today. Without a, without a lawyer. Don't let this intellectual shit fool you. I couldn't talk about it if I ain't living. And ain't nobody real that ever really went to jail and faced real cases, real hard time, gonna tell you to stay in the streets and keep killing each other. That's fake shit, nigga. Only these fake bitch-ass rappers that ain't never really fought no heat. Niggas going down for crack cases and gun cases. That ain't no heat. If the judge said guilty, I wouldn't be sitting here right now, nigga. That's a different type of heat. Division 9, Supermax, Cook County Jail, Chicago. Not no gun case, not no cracking, not none of that shit where you looking at an outdate, nigga. I, would, I wouldn't have had an outdate, nigga. For 40, 50 years, the judge said guilty. So I'm going to tell you. Ain't nobody in that trying to be in that, man. Ain't nobody in that is face, facing real hard time like we call it. Doing the niggas in there reading Bibles, man. Muffin that bitch working out, reading Bibles, reading Korans, prayer circles, man. See, they show you that shit on TV. I agree too. There's a reason why they promote the music that they promote. That's all I'm saying. It seems like it's cool and, and niggas in there happy and motherfuckers. We don't want to smell each other's feet all day. 
can't even shit. Got to tell my celly, drop one, flush one. Because when if he drop, if he shit in that toilet bowl, my hear that shit the water, that's going to fuck with me mentally. And now we going to scrap in this cell. Same thing with me. Drop one, flush one. Sitting in the truck waiting for mail call, hoping you get mail. Don't get it. Like, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't where nobody need to be. But the way they promote this negative music and this agenda, that's exactly where they going to send your goofy ass. Because when the real ops come, which is the police, niggas cuffing up. But you see me, you like this. Oh, yeah, that's a nigga that's on YouTube. You's a bitch. You see what I'm saying? You's a bitch. Like, all that energy, we ain't on none of that. You feel me? We gonna hoodie up with them. With 12. That's the ops. And see, like, young Dolph, they been wanting him, man. The whole way they set him up to sacrifice him. This shit started with the honey shots. You got people on your... Exactly. Schools are just ran like just like prisons, bro. Like they get you uh, mentally prepared when you're a kid to work for somebody. Yo, check out Crazy Bone Exposed the Music Truth Talks. He shares a true story about... Why gangster rap is promoted highly. I used to cover a lot of shit like that, but then I'm telling you, YouTube be shadow banning niggas. I'm telling you. That's why I stopped. Yo Gotti side sitting in jail right now for those honey shots that went that young dog car and he didn't do it. The whole thing, because see, a lot of people think, don't even understand that Yo Gotti is not, he not signed with them. He got distribution for his own company with them. And he own his own masters. Soldier Boy, who named instead of getting drawn into this shit because he had a few words with, with, with Dolph. Guess what? He on his own masters. So they trying to make it a three for one right now. Pay attention. Pay attention. If they take the YouTube channel, we know why. Because I'm fucking up. They, they chess move right now. Hopping right on it right now. I'm fucking their whole chess move up. But before I watch my people kill each other over what just happened to Young Dolph. Which is what they want. I'll lose the YouTube channel. Because I know exactly what's going on. It was a three for one. What do all three of them have in common? They all own their own masters, nigga. So now they they made they kill young Dolph. Motherfucker gonna think it's Yo Gotti and them immediately. Because they were like, Dolph ain't had no beef with nobody but who? Yo Gotti, because they already framed that years ago. 2018, 2017. Got you thinking it's Yo Gotti and his people. And as we all know. Hey, and he over here got Soldier Boy dropping disses and shit the day that he died. That's fucking. I lost a lot of respect for him. Like, like, that nigga looks like a dope fiend, too. I'm telling you, I know niggas who be off drugs, bro. And Soldier Boy looks like he be off the shit, bro. On the outside, you know that. That one of Yo Gotti people went down for that. Five went down for that. He done like 10, 12 years right now. And he didn't even do it. But they framed it and set it up so crucial, somebody's going to have to go down for that. Because that's how the elites work. They control the police. They control the judge. They control all that shit. Nigga, they want you. They're going to jam you up in there like that. And guess what all the fans saw? 100 shots go off when Dolph Carr first got shot up. Right? In Charlotte. It was words being going back and forth between them two. Right? But not one time was Gotti ever planning to kill Young Dolph or looking at it like that at all. That's why he was more, and he more, he was a little more mature than Dolph, a little older than him. So he ain't never really give that energy to. Dolph gave his energy like any, 
like any young young nigga gonna do at the moment. Like, hey, I'm coming up too in the city. You know, I'm trying to make my way. You feel me? Because Dolph even admitted, Yo Gotti was wanted to sign him at one point. All right, pay attention. Don't forget that. It's no different than Pac and Biggie, y'all. Everybody think Biggie had killed Pac. Or Biggie people did that. When Tupac first got killed, nigga, they had set the whole East Coast, West Coast beef up and Pac said it himself. A week later, he get killed. He said it on national TV at the, at the wars, nigga. Man, that whole East Coast, West Coast beef ain't no beef. That's the media painting all that shit to try to make y'all think it was beef. Tupac said that out his... own mouth you go look it up people seem to forget that though because they had they, they minor disagreement it made it easy to think that that came from the east coast because that's who the only motherfucker pop had issue with they tried to put on the crips orlando and come on no crips with that shit the main thing everybody was thinking was it was big in the when it happened, it was puffing him. Suge set him up. Suge ain't set up Pac, man. Suge the nigga belt him out. Suge belt Tupac out for a million dollars. But niggas forget that, though. They tried to kill Suge, too. Why is that got grazed in the head? And Suge know the truth, which is why they end up locking Suge ass up and They killed Suge Knight in jail. Ain't nobody asking about where Suge get because you think he got 20 years. That's exactly how they do. Because mm -hmm. Suge knew what was going on. And he was a gangster, so he was going to eventually say something. We got to get him out the way. They made Suge life hell. No, it's after Pac died. Suge shit went down too. All the way up to then they hit him with this fake ass car accident murder. Because he knew the truth. Snoop know the truth. But guess what? Snoop ass soft. So Snoop just kept it quiet and converted to what the people want to do. That's why Snoop was able to go so long. Him and Dre, nigga. Dr. Dre, $800 million, all that beats by Dre shit. Yeah, because them niggas sellouts. Pac and Suge wasn't on no sellouts. Oh, shit. That's why Pac ass is dead. And Suge ass is too. But the main thing I'm trying to point out is that they orchestrated the whole beef. But you forget that Pac and Biggie was like that before the shooting in New York. That was set up. They made Pac believe that Biggie set him up because it was a studio session that Pac was pulling up to. He pulled up the quiet studios at Biggie session. Peep game, they, they doing the same thing right now with Dolphin Gotti now. Pop pulled up the quad studios. The elites was already planning on taking Pac out. His 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 background, Tupac Amaru. If you've been watching my lectures, I already told y'all who Tupac Amaru was on my website, leader of the Incas. Now you go look up who the Incas was. Okay. Look at Tupac God on Tia Sada Shakur. Look how they was giving it up. Straight gangsters, nigga. Straight gangsters, nigga. You hear me? Nigga, they pulled the Sasha Shakur over, nigga, on the New Jersey turnpike. She knelt their ass. Then they locked her up, and then the Panthers came and broke her ass out. And her ass fled to Cuba, nigga. Gangster way. Feeney Shakur is mama. Matolo Shakur is stepdaddy. Matolo Shakur is still a political prisoner to this day. You redo the research. Them niggas ain't dead. You think all them people from the 60s dead? They in jail, nigga. And you can't write them. Facts. Political prisoners. Look them up. Majority of them, if they ain't, if they didn't get killed, they are in jail. But it's more of them in jail than, than they killed. That's a fact. So, Tupac was, that was coming regardless. 
because of the family lineage he come from. On top of how I'm a fucking bot, bro. I'm a bot. How he was giving it up. That's why that me against the world. Oh, that was coming from. That's why all them songs. Bad, for real. This, I, I don't really go live like this. This is all new, so, so I'll get better at this. This was coming from. All that Illuminati blows through your body. That's why all that was coming from long before niggas ever heard about the Illuminati. Nigga, we think Illuminati came from, nigga. And Tupac was so revolutionary that even now in his transcendence, they still try to kill his image by saying he's an agent now. I ain't, well, they never said Snoop was an agent. They never said Nas was an agent or Jay-Z. And these all the niggas Pac was against, nigga. How many motherfuckers' careers blew up after Pac got killed? So I'll be listening to nobody. Pac was an agent. Man, I know my, I, I, I read energy, man. You can't tell me what I know. I'm divine insight. This is what I do. Now you want to talk about car mechanics or some shit? You want to talk about how to make five cheese layer lasagnas? I don't know shit about that. You can talk. said five cheese layer lasagnas. You can tell me about that. You can't tell me about this. I'm in the spiritual realm. Too much. This is what I do. This is who I am. A medium to connect the spiritual and astral realms down to this planet for y'all to know what's going on for all to be revealed that's who i am divine insight literally so when Pac went to quad studios they was waiting on form on point hey little cia undercover agents that look like us to shoot them up Biggie and them get off the elevator. Big and them really didn't know what the fuck happened. And Pop didn't, he didn't think man, that. One of my other videos, that's what they be doing, man. They be just dressing up like us. And assassinating niggas. That far ahead to think that at that moment when that happened. You feel me? That's why it was the pictures of him put holding the middle fingers up. He had a feeling, but he didn't really know. It wasn't so he did all he did. He sat in jail for that year. Because remember, after they tried to kill him and that ain't work, then what they do to Pop? They hit it with a sexual assault. See, y'all fail to realize, man, how it works. They make assassination attempts or they try to jail you like they try to do me. They try to do me like that right now. Fake case. If that don't work, assassination attempt. That's how they play. Why must everybody that speak out against them go through this same loophole over and over and over again and niggas still don't see the game? You don't see the game. They play the same game with everybody that stand up against them, man. It's the same game, nigga. They tried to kill Pac. That ain't work. So they came with the sexual assault. That's why he was in jail for a year. That's when he made that Dear Mama. Me Against the World. He wrote the whole album in jail, nigga. Suge had to bond him out, but he sat in there a whole year. But niggas forget about that, though. See, oh, how quickly they forget. You didn't, They was already tearing his image down. Then he got out of jail and he kept staying on the same energy, so they had to get him out the way. Now we gave you two warnings, nigga. We shot your ass in New York. Your ass still want to talk. We jailed you with a fake case. You and you out on bond, and you still want to talk. We got you. It's exactly what they did to Tupac Shakur. Now, after he died, guess what happened? And all the energy was on Biggie. Even if the government didn't kill Biggie, which they killed Big, somebody in the street was going to kill Big because they had already fed the initial fire. They doing the same thing with Young Dolph and Gotti. That's why I'm speaking about it. And then, look, they don't stop at the rappers. Don't feel bad, hip-hop. Because in this awoken community, they try to do the same thing with me and YP. I ain't got no beef with YP. I will never hurt his family. None of that. I ain't none of that police sad shit. Because if it was real beef, nigga, we ain't going to be on the internet. Nah, but there was a video of Young Pharaoh saying that he was talking about his kids and shit. Is that true? He said he was going to... Rashad Jamal said he's going to hurt Young Pharaoh's kids. He said that on one of his videos. I don't know if it was true or not. Well, what they got going on? You type our names in. That's the first thing you're going to see. YP versus Shah Jamal. 
There, like Pop said, ain't no beef. If something happened to YP, they did it, nigga. If something happened to me, they did it, nigga. But they, if something happened to YP, the first thing they gonna think I did. I won't lie, I did make a video saying uh, Rashad Jamal versus Young Pharaoh. I'm a. I won't lie about that. That's the way they force feeding through the internet. And if something happened to me, they gonna think YP did it. So what's gonna happen? You got motherfuckers that love the fuck out of me, they gonna slide on YP and everything he love about me. And you got motherfuckers that love YP. Something happened to YP, they gonna slide on me and everything I love about him. They play this same game all around the board, y'all. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention if you never paid attention before. Just like Pac got on TV and told y'all, ain't no East Coast, ain't no YP Rashad Jamal beef, man. Miss me with the goofy shit, man. We got one op, the government, nigga. CIA, FBI, Cointel Pro, nigga. The, the Vatican, the Royals. You hear me? These reptilian shapeshifters and these Pleiadians. Now they're doing the same thing with Young Dolph and got it. But people forget, Young Dolph is independent. He owns his own masters and he ain't convert over. They fucked Yo Gotti out of deal when he was with Cash Money way back in the day. He'll tell you about that. He had to spend half, half a million dollars to buy himself out of his contract. Gotti got it out the mud on his own independently. Dolph got it out the mud on his own independently. And they can't take that. You talk about two black gods. Fuck what they said on the music. They making all this revenue. And they opening doors for more people under them. Yo, Marshall, that's facts, bro. This nigga risking his life. Just putting out shit like this. Got to think about it. The elites need their hands on that. They don't care if you rap about selling crack or you rap about high vibrational stuff like me. It don't matter. If money starts generating, they need their hands on that. Oh, we can't get our hands on that? We got you. Just like they did Omi in the Hellcat. That's the reason why they got him. Majority of these rappers, right, that wasn't participating in the sex trafficking agenda, because I'm going to tell you, the rappers that participated in the sex trafficking agenda, they ask to go to jail. And you don't see them again for a while. That's what they're doing to these, all these, locking these rappers up. A lot of them is a part, a part of the sex trafficking agenda, helping the big dogs with the organ harvesting. And they roll out jail and this shit is... But yeah, I'm probably going to end the video right here. If you guys want to um, see the full video, I don't want to just rip off his full video. So if you guys want to check out his channel, for the, those of you who are new, his channel is called the University of Cosmic Intelligence. Make sure you uh, subscribe to this man. I'm going to put it up right now. I appreciate all you guys to this channel right here. Make sure you subscribe to him.